Three percent average on Lee Chiu. Good morning. Welcome to today's video. We're headed out for today, going up to Fraser's Hill and then coming down the other side of it. So slightly different from the last time because the last time we went up and then we came back down the same side. But today we're going to try a different side of it just to see something new. And also the route is therefore longer with two climbs in total. One being the long Fraser's Hill climb and the second smaller climb. Total plan route for today is about 190k with 2000 over meters of elevation. I didn't plan for an out so that ensures that nobody here can take a shortcut. But the ride actually effectively ends at around 160 kilometers because it's all downhill from there. It was a 50k ride to the foot of Fraser's today and now we've just started a climb proper. Had a bit of a stop just to refuel before the climb because there's not much along the way up. The good thing about this loop is we are likely to be quite high up during the midday of it. So even though the weather is supposed to be hot at sea level, it's actually not that bad up there. So that makes it a lot more bearable. Hopefully by the time we come down around 3 or 4 p.m. the weather cools down a little bit and we don't have to deal with like the 35, 36 degree heat. It's actually been a year since we last climbed Fraser's together. Slightly different this time. Instead of staying at KKB, we have decided to stay nearer to the city. We're also coming down the other side of Fraser's, which will pass by a little bit of Genting, just for a change because I felt like if we just go up and down the same way, then it's kind of boring. So hopefully this will be a bit more exciting. The first 51 Ks were not very nice, but I guess it's a trade-off. Living in the city, we kind of have to fight the traffic to get to this part. But otherwise, we also wouldn't have access to all the nice cafes and stuff if we stayed nearer to the climb itself. So yesterday, we went to some of the cafes and checked out some of the bike shops. That's a huge load. Thanks. Been saving it for weeks. Just for you. Forget to bring plastic bags to the supermarkets. Imagine if you thought this is high, you see more. The other was like a headphone. How is it a pass? Solid. Solid pass. Can I say something? Your pass and pass. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. Okay. Vitamin 
see you. Say no alcohol before, right? Why are you drinking orange juice? Because I'm scared shit does about tomorrow. <laughs> Gone you? Are you concerned? Of course not. What's that to be concerned about when you don't know what's gonna happen? <laughs> Just try not to think about it. pushed up the climb a little bit so now it's just the two of us here waiting for the rest to come up. Legs felt quite good today, had about 8 hours of sleep. Traffic situation is beautiful too, barely any cars and the weather is really nice like it's sunny but it's only 24 degrees so we're here just cooling off. Gonna have some bread in the meantime. This is quite good, it's quite easy to eat on the bike. Because all you have to do is just retract this and then you can eat it. Convenient for one hand. If you take the twiggies then you kind of have to fiddle around with it. And it's a little bit more messy. The weather was pretty good for the It's long enough that nice. you, at the start you feel comfortable but at the end you say, okay this is getting... It's just constant, it's a constant grind. I had to burn two matches just to keep out of the Two in here, I've got all. Trying to get out of here. You didn't start with any. Let's go. Let's go. Don't no waste time with This is Bentong, it's like the first big town that we've come across the whole of today. For most of the last 100 over k's, it's just been us and the road in the middle of nowhere. But it's nice to finally see some civilization. Three percent average on Lee Chiu. Fuck you! Look. Oh, look, he's downhill, sir. Yeah. <laughs> look at it. Can't see around. He's positive, sir. Yeah, man. He's downhill. Yeah. Just let your bike roll. Come on. This is the last part of the second climb. It's incredibly steep. Check, bro. Honestly, new far respect for you for beating <laughs> the 4,000 meter one. Holy shit. And it's the same distance, right, roughly? 180 k's. So it's shorter by 10 k's, but double the... 5,530. That's more than double. How many hours do you finish? 10 hours. Good lord. 11 hours. Same amount of time, you know, now. <laughs> and you didn't even have oh, like a proper this, lunch, after, right? After, after bananas and gels and coffee. Like the diet you're hit. <laughs> oh, finally. Like 
you haven't eaten in three days. You see what we sent it to me today? What's the video? It's the only thing we can get. We keep it in one time. 90% of the time, I'm sorry. One gummy, or did you bring gummies? Shit. I'm done. I'm done with the money for one. We are headed out to VCI Bangsa for coffee now. Apparently it's our recovery ride for today. But that means that we are also doing something really dumb which is to fight KL traffic once again. <laughs> Back from the ride and just showered. That was crazy. So, KL traffic is mad and the diesel fumes are just really, really bad. The amount of pollution is crazy. I feel like I smoked about a pack of cigarettes just on the way back. We also didn't see many road cyclists, even though it was a Saturday. But I think in KL, it seems like most of them just drive to a car park, they meet up, and then they go for a ride outside town and they get back into their cars after that and drive home. So that's probably why we didn't see many road cyclists in the city centre. So our plan for the rest of the day, just chill out, um, maybe go go-karting, have some lunch, and we're headed back tomorrow. And that's the end of our ride here. It's been a nice two days, mainly revolving around cycling. Yesterday's hard ride was crazy, so we decided to just go out for coffee today, take it a bit easy, but in the end, because of the traffic, we also couldn't ride that slowly. Cycling around KL is really nice, but just not in the city centre. I think that one thing that JB lacks is the nice long climbs, which this place offers, because we've got quite a few long one hour, two hour kind of climbs over here. And the gradients are really gentle as well, so it's nice and because it's high up, it's also not hot. There's pretty much no traffic. But obviously for us, Living in Singapore, the logistics of going to JB to ride our bikes is a lot easier. So that's probably going to be our main method of getting nice long rides in. And unfortunately, we won't be able to enjoy the nice climbs so often.